welcome back welcome back to the show on the water and today is 4th of july but before waiting to the night show of fireworks we're gonna go head out to an island that a lot of local fans have been telling me about so we're gonna start our engines and get going because the ride is pretty long it's about 25 miles and i'm super excited because a lot of people have been telling me good things about this place. And you know me already, I love exploring new places and when they're located in the water to me it's even better and look at this it's only about 12 o'clock in the afternoon for us that's pretty early even though we went to sleep last night pretty late from the boating and the night barbecue and we even watched the movie but i guess that's what happens when you don't worry about time because usually when you have a schedule and you don't meet it you get stressed out so on the weekends i try not to look at my watch i just look up in the sky and look at the sun and try to estimate how much sunlight i have left and it looks like today we have plenty of time And here's the part that my kids love once we reach the outside channel because about 300 feet away from the houses we could go ahead and open up the throttles to cruise at 25 miles an hour and our 25 mile journey begins now and here we're going under cape coral parkway bridge with joel on the helm of the island hopper And once again, enjoying the ride while the kids drive the boat. And it got a little choppy, not because of the wind, but all the boaters out in the water moving around on this beautiful, sunny 4th of July day. And if you guessed this is the miserable mile, you guessed it right because of all the boat traffic. But now, we're gonna head under Sanibel Bridge to hit the Gulf and head down south by Fort Myers Beach. But we're not gonna stop there. Remember, we're going to a new place. And it's further down south. And the island hopper is riding pretty good to the Gulf because the surf is a foot or less. And the ride to our destination should be about 30 more minutes. And yep, the kids and my dad round the fishing rod just in case. Here it is, we have reached our destination, Pelican Landing Beach Park. And so far so good, I like what I see. White sands and clear water. And I guess this must be a popular spot like everyone said, because there's also plenty of boaters here too. So we're gonna find a spot and anchor up. Mm -hmm. 
And guess what? The final ingredient is perfect. The water is warm. And so far so good. We've been here for less than five minutes and I love it already. So what do you guys think so far? Me? Loving it right now and I've only been here less than 10 minutes and I haven't walked around yet. Has anybody been here before? And if you have, what's the best day? Saturday or Sunday? Because I'm definitely coming back in the future. And I also noticed they have a DJ system set up. I wonder what's going down. Or maybe they knew I was coming and they want to play Sandbar Life. So I guess they came here to really have some fun in the sun. But you know what? We're gonna leave them there dancing around and I'm gonna walk around to see what else all the other boaters here are up to and see how the West Coast celebrates the 4th of July. This place is pretty cool here because it has three different areas. Like right now, we are on the south side and this is more like the family hanging out spot. And there is the northeast side, it's called Dogs Lovers Beach. And there's the northwest side that has a huge sandbar that extends out into the Gulf. And I don't know the name of that one, but I guess I'll find out next time I come. Also, I see that the pontoons are the locals' boats of choice. Well, I guess it makes sense because here in the West Coast, the weather doesn't get that rough and you could get the most room out of a pontoon. And it makes it ideal if you want to cruise with a lot of people. And look at that, some come two stories with a slide. By the way, if you want to get here to this place and you don't have a boat, you could come. This island or park has access from the road. You just have to kind of drag the coolers through the sand. But that won't be a problem because the sand is nice and smooth. You could even come barefooted if you want. Hey, wait a minute. I'm starting to sound like an island tour guide man. Made it back to camp. And look what she's doing. Guess what she's doing. Yep. Picking up shells. But you know what? While Lupita here does some shell picking, I'm gonna go ahead and jump on the jet ski, take a drive to the other spots, and see what people are doing over there. Because today we're doing island exploration on the west side. And what do you guys think about this place so far? You like it or you don't like it? Well, I know one thing you can't complain about you guys getting a full tour from the sand and from the water.
remember, this area here has three hangout spots. This is the south side where we parked, but now we're gonna jump to the north east side. And this area here is known as Dogs Lovers Key. And I can see why, because I see a lot of dogs or pets running around the sand. Also notice that the shallow part extends out more into the water. And this spot here is also accessible by car. Now we're crossing over to the northwest side but i'm not really sure if this area here is accessible by car and this side here is a giant sandbar that's attached to the island that wraps around into the gulf so like you see i guess these spots here are very popular to the locals and to the visitors like me definitely i'll be coming back here again in the future to do a more in-depth exploration but now we're going to start heading back to camp because someone's calling me but no, it's not Ogida, it's actually my stomach, and I'm getting hungry, so it's time to feed it. Back to camp, I noticed something was missing, the island hopper. I guess the kids might have taken my dad out fishing for a little bit. Now I got scared, but not because they went fishing, because I thought they took the cooler, but now they were smart enough to leave the coolers on the sand and Ogida stayed behind because she was hungry too. Or maybe she got left behind because she was picking shells. But today we're doing something simple, no barbecuing, we're making sandwiches. We noticed that making sandwiches is the easiest and fastest way of feeding yourself when you're out on the boat. But don't get it mistaken, there's nothing better than sausage time. But you know, sometimes you gotta change it up. Like sometimes we bring fried chicken, and that tastes pretty good too. So while we were here beside enjoying our sandwiches, we noticed that the party was getting bigger by the DJ. So we had a late lunch for the show. Oh, like you see, I guess they're really having fun in the sun, West Coast style on 4th of July at Pelican Landing Beach Park. And like you see, it's very entertaining. But remember, we have a long ride back and today is the 4th of July fireworks show. And they're having a display right by Coral Parkway Bridge, right by the house. And that makes it ideal for us because like that, we could go back home, take a shower and watch the fireworks. And just in time, the kids are pulling up with the island hopper.
Go over there to the beach so I can pick out the cooler. And definitely, you cannot forget the cooler because it has important stuff in it, like food and fruits. So we went ashore, picked it up, and loaded it on the boat. And now it's time to start heading back because we have a 25 mile run back to the house. And time wise, I'm gonna estimate about two hours, more or less. In two hours and 25 miles, it's not a bad ride for this place here because we loved it. Definitely coming back. And we can even bring the dogs. And the usual for the west coast, the wind picked up so it made the ride a little bumpy on the way back. But a little bit of bumps is not going to stop the Aya Hopper. And yep, you see, the Aya Hopper could get through anything. And even Ogita could sleep through anything. I guess her and the boat are made of the same material. Even the loud roar of a cigarette going by us doesn't wake her up. Check this out, a loud cigarette cruised right by us. We hit a lot of waves. We went to two lighter zones and two speed zones under a few bridges. And now when we get to our canal, when it's completely quiet, she wakes up. Now, how do you understand that? And you thought the day was over. Mm -hmm. Not yet. Right? Yep. You gonna go back at it again to see what the West Coast has to offer on 4th of July for the show. So now we're fresh and so clean after a quick shower and jumped back on the boat to go check out the fireworks. But not the whole crew went. Okita and Fresco and Gabby oh, stayed behind because they were too tired or maybe sleepy. But how can she be sleepy when she just slept two hours on the ride back? Now, how do you explain that? So it's just gonna be me, Joel, my dad, and my cousins that he's gonna meet us there. And how cool is this? The ride is about five minutes away from the house because it's right by the bay, by the canal, by Cape Coral Parkway Bridge. That's how quick it is, but now we have to look around and find a spot. And like usual, it runs in the family. My cousin is late because he decided to stay a little longer and enjoy that cool place that we found today. All right guys, so this is our first year watching the 4th of July celebration here at the West Side, Cape Coral. So it's pretty cool. I mean, it's a big Bay Area, so we're gonna see what the show is all about. And look who showed up, late but lucky, because the fireworks haven't started yet. But let's get the show on the road. <laughs> 